Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, where we examine the crime scene of which a phony Phoenix Wright has got our defendant, Maggie Bird, already declared guilty of the crime of. Poisoning has happened here in this French cafe, so let's check things out, get more evidence here before we, well, I guess we've got to search for more evidence of our phony, really. Prove it is so we can get a retrial. This must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so, with all this police tape all around it. Still for a month, and that stain must be from the poison coffee. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Mayor? Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. Then why can I picture you doing just that? I don't know, well, we've seen that, but that doesn't give us too much stuff. Of course, most of the evidence is gonna be removed, isn't it, for the most part? This restaurant has partitions that separate the tables. When you're seated at a table, you can only see the tables to your right or left. Which probably is fairly interesting. This table's set nicely. It just needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip, and it's not a sunflower, I don't think. Duh, even I could have told you that. Well, those are the only kinds of flowers I know. Dang nabbit, I'm a lawyer, not a botanist. I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. Well, with that said, I'm not even sure this place has much to look at. I mean, it's got the partitions and all. Most of the evidence would have already been collected. But just getting that little paper behind there is probably the important part. With that, I think we've already got to move on. Maybe not to the detention centre, but to criminal affairs now. No, no one around. No one around anywhere. Well, I don't know if we can get some more information about this here. Now that we've got the name of the MC. Oh, a sports paper. Let's see, let's see. Did Guts and Braun manage to defend his heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie, that paper is actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. And Gutson got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine rack at Trebian. Really? That's strange. Trebian doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong says he's not really fond of them. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind. Anyway, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. Aha! That's it, sir! I am C. Bomber! Yes! That was the name that was written on the CD! Just as I thought. I guess it was an MC screwdriver after all, huh? So, the $100,000 must be a down payment for a record deal, right? If someone gave me $100,000, I'd sing for sure! The Master of Karain, or the Spirit Song, or even Mayor's Theme! Um, okay, Mayor. So, if the sample CD was on the victim's table, that means this newspaper may have belonged to the victim. You're right! So, the victim left this behind on the day of the murder, huh? I think we better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? But how do we step it up further than this? I mean, we don't have any more entries to look at. We've got some more information, but there was no one anywhere. There's no one for us to check out. And we found out about MC Bomber, sure. It's not really helping us unless someone's now appeared at Trebian. Which they have. Ooh la la, bonjour, welcome to La Trebian. Oh, he hello. What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff. Yep. Bienvenue, welcome to my petit restaurant. I'm a bit scared myself. Huh? B Avenue? Oh no, my petit julep. Huh? Me? Look at his face, like a like kitten rejected by its own mother. You are fatigued, no? Allos, you need this. An aromatic pathway, a melange of la neroli and la rose. My personal recommendation. You think I need what? Oui, oui, just add a couple of drops of this mixture to the bath water and voila! It will soothe your body and your mind. It's simply fantastic. Really? And for la monsieur. Who, me? Look at that face, like Le Puppy rejected by life itself. You are fatigued, no? 
For you, Monsieur, I recommend this. Oil of bergamot, and maybe a hint of wee wee. What? I will add lip peppermint and a clary sage for a fragrance exceptional. Such an invigorating recipe will bring out your delicious beauty, Monsieur. My, my beauty? Alors, if you will be seated, I will bring you the special menu of the day. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're lawyers. Mais bien sûr. I know this already, Monsieur. You are Le Phoenix Wright, no? Um, yes. You know me? Mais oui, oui. I never forget a man who flirts with me, especially in court. I guess he was cross-examined by a mysterious Zin Oop. It looks like everyone to do with this case knows who I am already. I wonder what sort of impression Zin Oop's been leaving on people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Jean Armstrong and Chante. Okay. I don't know why you're wiggling your belly at me. But still, the game gave us a merry runaround to get to this point, didn't it? So what does Trey Beyond mean? I know Trey, that means free, right? No, 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 Trey Beyond is Francais. In English, you would say fairly good. Oh, very good. We oui, exactement. La atmosphere is très bien and la cuisine is très bien. If the food's so good, why aren't there any customers in here? My cuisine is not for all. Some people, they do not appreciate la haute cuisine. I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. Since I have lost Maggie, I do not have enough hands. So you're running this place on your own now? Oui, for la moment. No one has answered my advertisement. Oh, pour moi! Please don't eyeball me while you say that. I'm le chef. I'm le manager. I'm also a trained aromatherapist. A roaming what? A practitioner of the aromatherapy and the art of soothing the soul of its delicate floral aromas. Delicate? The smell coming from that bottle earlier was anything but. So, could you tell me what you know about the incident? Bien. It makes me sad to remember it, yet I remembered it so well. More than a month has passed since it happened. Yeah, I guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentencing. So, it was the third of last month, just after one in the afternoon. A man who was in here for a coffee suddenly became ill. Because of the poison in his coffee? That is the truth as I know it. It was Maggie who took his drink to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out to see what it was, he was already slumped in his chair. He was dead? Mon dieu, oui, he was dead. Maggie had passed out also. And this man who died, was he alone? Oui, monsieur. All alone. I know that Maggie said there was someone else, but... I see. You didn't have time to see if there was someone else, probably. La police, they asked me many times. Are you sure there was no one else at the table, they asked? But I am not the only one. The old man says the same thing. Old man? What old man? Let's find out more. Um, so who is this old man that you mentioned? At the time of the murder, there was another customer in here. What? Someone else saw it? Mais oui, as usual. He came alone that day. At the time of the murder, he was here. He saw it too. But he said the same things, that there was no one else at the victim's table. But Maggie swears there were two people. Mais, mademoiselle, la lawyer, he could not prove this, no? About the lawyer? That was me, I suppose. Mais bien sûr. Wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. Don't kid yourself, Nick. <laughs> and who's the one making stuff up? Right, so we probably have to present a little bit. We need to know about this old man. Let's ask about this. We found this sports paper in the magazine rack here. One of my customers must have left it behind. Do you have any idea which customer it was? The only ideas I have, mademoiselle, I save for my kitchen. Okay, that doesn't help. This won't help either. I'm not a lawyer myself. I do not wish to speak out of turn. But your defense in court that day was a little, how you say, lacking, perhaps. <sighs> Even a Frenchman who cannot speak any English could have done a better job. You were very cool though. Oh, we oui, we oui, so handsome. Wow, I wonder just how bad a defense could have been. 
Every time you opened your mouth, the old courthouse stirred. Oh man, that is something I don't want to imagine. Right, nothing to talk about now that I've presented those things? Obviously not. But we see no old man. So we need to find this guy, really. Now, is it something else we can do there? Or is Gumshoe finally in attendance now? So what am I doing? Why is there now twin for the blue badger? So what am I doing? See, I've talked to people. I don't have much to do apart from that. I've presented you with everything, so there must be something else I'm looking at here. Maybe, oh, maybe... Maybe Monsieur at the Trebian will also elucidate on some certain matters. But I kind of need to, uh... Sort things out here. Why is Godo in here? Oh, you can bet. I need to know more about this old man. Alright, let's see if examining something comes up with anything. This must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so, with all this police tape all around it. Let's see if Mr. Guy cuts in. Nope. Okay. I am a little clueless, huh? As to what I'm doing. What is the old man? Maybe I can present to him Maggie Bird's profile and maybe find out something like that? Maggie was a policewoman once, ne sais pas? Yes, but she had to quit for um, reasons beyond her control. Oui, oui, she was less of a suspect in la murder investigation, no? Oh, you know about that. That is why I gave to her le perfume for la happiness. Happiness perfume? We oui, blended from bergamot like I have given to you before. But she's been arrested again. And found guilty this time. This is true. And natural aroma of unhappiness must have been very strong. Just a minute, your perfume doesn't work. I'm not surprised she was the prime suspect. After something like that took place before my very eyes. Ah, so it was presenting Maggie's profile that could get us further. Something like what? What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? We've got to ask this guy for more info. Stat. Right, we've got it. Playing these without a clue of how to play them is always fun. Trying to find the right answer or the right part of the puzzle at the time. When Maggie took the copy over to the victim, did anything happen? Ooh, oui. I, I suppose you could say so. So what happened? No, it was uh, it was nothing. Look, Maggie says she didn't even know the guy, but she's still been indicted for murder. The prosecution must have come up with some kind of motive. We, it is true. If there was anything at all between Maggie and the victim, it could be relevant. So please, tell us anything you know. A what? Free? Cyclox? No way, what are we gonna do, Nick? We'll just have to remove- What the- What's wrong? The Magatama. It's gone! Wait, yeah, what? What? Huh? I had it in my pocket, but it's vanished in the thin air! What? But I could see the Cyclops. Maybe that means the Magatama's nearby. Um, Mr. Armstrong, could I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting, was anyone else sitting there? That is a question you will have to ask him yourselves. Huh? Im? The old man spends all of his time down the park. The park? Oh, a park. What park's that? Behind la restaurant. It is called Vitamin Square. Thank you. Je vous en prie, my dear. Let's go check out this Vitamin Square right away, Nick. Let's go check it out. Though it's supposedly nearby. Well, let's leave it behind. As we finally hind ourselves going forward. No wonder it's called this. So this is Vitamin Square. Yeah, I see where they get the name from now. The fruits scream vitamins at you. Uh, vitamins is like an English pronunciation and vitamins is like an American one, isn't it? Let's flip between the two and confuse everyone. Hey, Nick. 
That's the guy, right? Isn't that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? That grouchy looking grandpa? He's throwing seeds out for the pigeons. Mate, he's not throwing seeds for them, he's throwing seeds at them. Right. What are you, what's wrong with your nose? Allergies? Why'd you keep rubbing it? It's gonna get redder. Ah, uh, my grumpiness fret level has just been raised to red. And the music. Um, excuse me. Would you mind if I had a word with you? Yes! I just want to ask you a couple of questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? So you don't like my seeds, eh, pigeons? He's really chucking those seeds at them. That's gotta hurt. Go on, eat this! Ah. <sighs> Excuse me, sir, can I ask you about Maggie Bird? I don't know any Maggie Bird! Yes, you do. Maggie, the waitress at Trebian. Cah! It's a disgrace, I tell you, and not a disgrace! A disgrace? An innocent young girl revealing herself like that! Revealing? You mean her uniform? The youth of today! They don't have any shame! No shame, I tell you, not one ounce! Whatever happened to the old Bushido values of Japan, like honor and modesty? What about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You! Your problem is you lack any sense of grace! Talk about hitting a girl where it hurts. Alright, about Trebian. Do you go to Trebian a lot? Hmm! That miserable excuse for a restaurant! That garbage they serve in there is not food! Where's the sushi, the temper, the rice? Trebian is a French restaurant, sir. Where do you think we are, boy? In Paris? I want real food, not the snooty snacks! And what about those stainless girls? You mean the waitresses? You can see all the way up to their, their... Their... Yes, the waitresses! They're practically naked! It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Listen, it's not my restaurant. Gah, it's a miserable excuse for a restaurant that place. Miserable! He certainly knows the place. He must be irregular. But if he hates it so much, why does he keep going? I don't think we're getting that much info at this point. Are you a regular at that restaurant, sir? It's just, if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? There you are, you filthy pigeons! You want food! Ha <laughs> Take that! He must be hiding something, right? If he is, I should be able to see a cyclop or two. Oh wait! I don't exactly have the Magatama right now, huh? Remember, Nick, that Magatama is only on loan! You better find it or else! If Pearls ever gets wind of this, I'm going to be in a world of pain. So he might be hiding something, but the Magatama's nearby. Well, let's examine here, because there's a magazine on the table. Oh, the orange. Oh, there's a magazine here. It's a magazine full of job listings. You are a disgusting rogue picking up something someone else threw away! Threw away? Did you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? Gah! That's none of your business! Sorry, I guess I'll just take the magazine with me then. I don't want anyone else having it! Give it back! Too bad. Now that you want it so bad, I don't want to give it up. Alright then, so we found job listings. Hey, that's mine! Any obvious Magatama anywhere? I used to love sandboxes like you wouldn't believe. Really? You? Sure, finding iron filings in the sand with a magnet was my favourite thing to do. Iron filings? Wow, that's too exciting for words. It was my ambition to collect every single shred of iron in the sandbox. I was such a kid back then. So did you manage to get all the iron? No, I never did. I think I came close though. Come to think of it, I still have all the iron filings I found way back when. You want them? No. There's all the pigeons. Hey, look! Pigeons! Yeah, and heaps of them too. Did you know that pigeons are a symbol of peace? That's a dove, not a pigeon. Poor things. So they can't be symbols of peace and harmony just because they're grey? Is that it? You're overthinking this one by just a smidge, Mayor. Right, we need to go find our Magatama. But we also got ourselves... something new here. Just thrown away by the old man, a magazine, nothing else? Well, for now we'll retreat. Back to Trebian. And is it just simply on the floor somewhere? I 
I can't see it. Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in there, which is why I was wondering if it was here. Where Mr. Armstrong collected all these personally. Let's see, a bouquet of flowers, some pop puree, pop puree even, and look, fine bone china to cups. I never knew you were so cultured. Come on, Naya, this is common knowledge. Any Joe Schmo knows this much. But no Magatama. Look, it's one of those magical, yeah, but no Magatama. It doesn't look to be around here, so where did I drop it? It's nearby, but it's not nearby. Maybe we'll talk to Mr. French McFrenchy here. I forgot his name. Not to be rude or anything. Let's see if he's taken my Magatama. But I can't visually see it anywhere. This is very confusing. As we move on with more trials and mainly tribulations. Bye bye.